Okay, we're going to uh, install one of these uh, JBM Industries diaphragms on this uh, P65 Magna slide. I think I showed you in a previous video how you remove the old diagram, diaphragm and the two plastic rings around here. Uh, since then these have been cleaned up. And what we're going to do now is um, install the slide in the appropriate orientation this way uh, in the curb. Right, so the, the slide has a little uh, flat area here and uh, these two holes in the bottom. These will go towards the end which is the butterfly which is uh, this end here. This little divot taken out of here is in fact for the butterfly valve to swing into. Okay, so I'm going to do that and just twist it until I hope you can see that, that it's in the center there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to visually, I'm just going to lay it across between this little brass dimple or nipple here and the center of this so that I can just lay it on there like that. Then I'm going to take a black sharpie and I'm going to mark on the slide that edge. Okay. So now I've established this mark in line there. Next thing, I'm going to take the, without moving this slide, I'm going to take the diaphragm. I'm going to locate it using this little O-ring section. Okay. And I'm going to look to see, I have to extend this mark down a little bit. I didn't get it quite far enough. Just bring it down inside. There we go. So relocate this. Now I can see the mark. And I'm just going to, with a silver sharpie, I'm going to put a mark in the same location. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but there we have the silver mark on the black and the black mark on the silver. Okay, so now all I have to do is line those two up. All right, so I get those set up in line. These can be a little bit awkward to start. Okay, there they are lined up. And I'm gently going to work my way around the outside of this. This is a little bit like mounting a bicycle tire on a rim. Okay, gently. The guys from JBM Industries do warn not to stretch this too much, so it's not that I need all that much force, I'm just trying to be gentle. Okay. So now I have it in place. But I don't necessarily have it seated, so I'm going to work my way around now. Get it fully seated in the groove. And I'm going to check it to make sure it looks the same all the way around. Top and bottom. And it doesn't to me. So I'm going to keep working on this. You can see this is a little slimmer here 
a little side of here that tells me this is not gone into that little recess that it's supposed to be sitting in. And Okay. Good. You can see you still have the the two marks lined up, and when we set this in here. In fact, we do have this divot where it needs to be so that the butterfly can sweep up into it. All right. Now, the one thing that we have uh, yet to do is to use a little bit of contact cement just to secure this. And I'm going to just lay a little bead just in a couple of spots on the upper side here. The reason I'm not putting it on the lower side here is I don't want to run any risk at all in getting it down on this surface here which needs to slide freely in here. Okay. Um, one thing I should have pointed out earlier is that I have removed the needles there here just in order not to damage them while we're doing this uh, doing this work because if they're sticking out you know not only can you prick yourself but you it's easy enough to uh, to do some damage to them. Anyway, that's about all there is to it, except I have another couple of them to do.